Hi, I'm Tom Marks with the Marks Law Firm. Welcome. I'm here with Ron Sims. Wanted to introduce him. Yes, I'm Ron Sims. Been practicing uh, for 46 years uh, here in Orange County. Ron, over those 46 years, tell me, what's the biggest change you've seen in law? Well, one thing that I recall is that you used to be able to go to a final hearing with three pieces of paper. Your final judgment, answer, and waiver, and your agreement. And now, I don't have any cases that are less than at least a banker's box. Maybe two or three banker's boxes. Right. So Absolutely. the practice has, uh, the rules and regulations have changed to the degree that it's become much more complicated, requires a lot more time than it used to. Absolutely. Well, in my only 28 years of practice, um, I, I think the biggest change I've seen is the development of collaborative law. And I know you do mediation, and we'll talk about that. Uh, co collaborative law is an agreement that the parties sign that they will not take it to court. They'll reach an agreement in a very transparent uh, manner. It avoids a lot of the complexity and a lot of the acrimony that you see in court. We'll talk to you about that in more detail at some point, but tell us a little bit about what you do in mediation. Well, mediation, it differs from collaborative because if I understand collaborative, you usually have the parties and you have a financial expert and you have a mental health expert. Yes. And all of you meet together. Correct. Whereas in mediation, one of the services I provide, I, I call a private mediation. <clears throat> I will meet with the husband and the wife. I will tell them I don't represent either one of them and can't and that I cannot give them any legal advice. But... I, I, we talk about the topics that interest them about their marriage that they think they need to deal with right. in order to dissolve the marriage. And then I come up with an agreement and uh, help them do that. Right. So the, the difference from collaborative is in a collaborative case, both parties still have attorneys to advise them. And then you have these neutrals, uh, a mental health professional and a financial professional who will do a lot of the work putting together the child support guideline worksheets, parenting plan and all that while the attorneys are there to uh, advise them. Right, and the mediation of course uh, can be either with private individuals, mm -hmm. um, it's much less expensive for them that way, but if they certainly choose they can have attorneys represent them and I do mediate cases where they have attorneys. And, and those mediations may last a bit longer than the other mediations, but the, the result is the same. You're usually trying to come up with proposals that are satisfactory to both parties, and then you draft up an agreement to that effect, and then the rest of it is just going on through a final hearing. Right. And similar to Ron, who has to be Supreme Court certified to be a mediator, you have to be collaboratively trained, or, or you should be, and there's a collaborative uh, group in Central Florida that there's a website that you can look up. Ron, thanks for um, spending some time with me today. It's always a pleasure to be with you, my man. All right, good to see you. Thanks.